so we need if you want how to manage your future you have to shift from west centric approach to your business western models do not work you know in this competitive economy of the world where hire and fire model was held out to be the most efficient way of administering the market forces japan had a policy of not firing only hiring in fact a company which fired or sent people out of employment or laid them off was supposed to be debranded in the japanese mind they also successfully handled the market economy so we need a paradigm shift in our thinking and this is not business specific but it is also we an input to a business so we need to think for a world which is becoming less and less eurocentric there is no scope for eurocentric model of development here after the whole world has to move to another model if somebody is eurocentric they will become the victims of the economic development of asia america became the victim of economic development of asia in the last 10 years because of its irresponsibility if anyone follows that model that country will also become the victim of another country which has greater discipline savings habit family orientation relation based approach what relation based approach i will conclude in two to three minutes you know in india there are seven lakh villages in fact when i mentioned this in a meeting in university of california was in the ucla and all the audience we have 700000 villages you know how many police stations we have they didn't know i asked them to make a guess somebody said must be 100000 50000 i said we have only 12404 police stations as of the statistics of 31st december 2004 by the government of india for 700000 villages we have only 12404 police stations and if you look at the crime table of the world which is in the undp human development report the country with the highest rate of crime per 100000 population for serious crimes the country which heads the world is america with 680 crimes and you keep on counting down and the country which is the last with just four crimes per 100000 population is india but this is what you don't know about india this is what a relation based society can achieve my neighbor can correct me in america the father cannot correct the son <laughs> you know as soon as a child enters the school it is asked to memorize the telephone number and the child has to memorize the telephone number then only he is able to you know what is the number that is the number of the police station if the teacher abuses you or hits you If the parents do anything wrong which makes you cry, you telephone the police. So between the parents, between the husband and wife, between father and child, and the teacher and the daughter, if police is going to administer and arbiter, courts are going to intervene, lawyers are going to issue notices, you can understand the instability in the society and you promote it as modernity. If economy is collapsing in those countries, they have contrived the collapse in the name of modern <coughs> we have a very different message to give to the world are we capable you can't be capable unless you are independent freedom doesn't mean independent we became a free country never became an independent country freedom is a condition that you are you are out of jail that doesn't mean you are thinking independent india has to become a truly independent country thinking not for me but it's not for the world we are a civilization we are a culture in fact um, i would all at least you read an article by one gnp layman who wrote an article in the globalist magazine on 31st december 2006 about what is the religion of